This rig here is uh, another attempt at replacing my built-in regulator on my lawn tractor. The original one does work, but it has the bad points where you use it in cold weather and uh, the voltage gets too high. I've documented that in other videos. So I've been wanting to make my own regulator hold more close to yeah, maybe a 13.2 or 13.8, something in that range. So this bridge rectifier is not exactly what I want. I really need a 15 amp one. This is only a 10 amp one. It's rated for a thousand volts though, so I was kind of curious about how much forward voltage it would have. It's only got 0.5. Better than I expected. This module is uh, Chinese. Fairly inexpensive. It's supposed to be able to handle 15 amps. And um, it's supposed to be adjustable. I'll have to set that when I first hook it up. And it's supposed to be able to take up to a 60 volt input. Now I did see pretty close to that when I hooked the bridge rectifier up to the alternator, the outputs for the coils anyway. I got close to that voltage, so this can only take 60 volts. I'm hoping to stay under 60 volts, but that's the first thing I'll be checking when I hook this thing up outside, is the voltage across the uh, plus minus. basically. I'm not going to get warm at that draw. If I was drawing 15 amps I'd have to really heat sink it. I'd need a better rectifier too. I'd have to cut it into the cowl here where I can get some you know windage. But I don't think I even need to do that. Well I just cut my lawn and the new regulator system is working fine. The old regulator bolt holes and this regulator's bolt holes are almost the same. There's like a hole on the other little hole there. They almost would fit perfectly, but the hardware is much smaller and there's clearance issues between the board and the base of the unit. So I put it on kind of sideways like this, and that way I had a place to put use the other bolt for the uh, full bridge rectifier. And I'm um, getting a little bit of cowl ventilation out of the unit through the hole in the cowl for the regulator. And everything's kind of temporary, you know, I didn't really make it so I can't go back. I can just unplug all this stuff. I may have to winterize it a little better, although it's kind of protected. You know, it's pretty well protected, really. So I may not do anything unless I have to. But it's working fine. I had it set for a constant 13.2. Um, keeping the battery charged. Of course it's 12.6 uh, which is the good charge for the battery. But I run it at 13.2 for the summer. That should be easier on the battery. And in the winter I'll crank it up to 13.8 roughly. There's the little adjuster right there. And yeah, it's running fine. Didn't get too hot. Got warm but not really hot. So I think it's going to work. And the whole purpose of this, if you haven't been following my saga on this, is to be able to run LEDs without burning them out. In the winter, the voltage gets a lot higher when it's cold on the traditional regulator, and that's on purpose to keep the battery charging, but it fries out my LEDs. So, problem resolved, I guess. We'll see how it goes. I've always got the uh, stock regulator I can put back in. The old regulator wasn't too kind on traditional bulbs either, but at least they're cheap. So the little tin box is a switching regulator, a buck converter. If you want to learn about buck converters, I highly recommend a series on KISS Analog, a YouTube channel, K 
KISS analog and he's going in depth on how switching regulators work. Currently he's going through the buck converter 